Assalamu alaikum viewers. I hope you have enjoyed my last video on innovance about doll starter and some basic things. Today I will be showing you another interesting but very important project. Yes, you have got the right point. It's star delta connection of three phase induction motor. So uh, no further delay, let's get started. As you know why we use star delta connection so I am not going to discuss that first thing first this is the main uh, PLC circuit and this is the connection of the motor here uh, there are some inputs uh, from x0 to x7 and outputs y0 to y7 for this project uh, I am using the same innovance PLC a ladder diagram so you can use in any PLC with this uh, diagram and uh, uh, this is the connection of the physical inputs here we will use one start button to x0 and one stop button to x1 and we will put 24 volt here we see three outputs this is the main contact which we are going to in, uh, put on y2 this is a delta connection on y1 and y0 to start when, when we press on switch that is start button then the main contactor will be on and at the time the star contactor will be on again and after some seconds we will set the time the star connection will go off and the delta connection will be i will write this project also in uh, innovance plc you can use any other plc software which follow a ladder diagram then you can use same program so at first i will uh, give the name of the project that is star delta star delta my plc type is x uh, aso uxp ladder chart okay here is the main page now you have to go to symbol table to give some names of your inputs so as we already have talked that we will give x0 x0 to start motor start x1 motor stop y0 y0 star connect Shun Y one Delta connection and Y two main contact Y two main contact main contact. Now go to the main block here as we already have used x0 as a motor start so here you write x0 motor start now we will take the stop button so x1 that is nc stop and we will take another overload relay that is overload current relay if uh, the current is higher than our set value then the motor will be up so here you can use um, another input like x2 x2 it will be also nc and then output y2 that is main contact Uh, this is only a push button switch so we have to do a latching here with the this main contact so you take y2 y2 input okay okay now when the main contact is on we have to start another 
contact that is start uh, star contact so here main contact on and then star contact so y0 here as output but that time we want to switch on one timer so here we take the nc contact of the timer you take t1 we will take one timer as t1 and that that time the delta connection must be off so you take one nc of the delta contact y1 as we have taken here one timer so you set one timer t1 that is 10 seconds so k100 <coughs> now it's time to uh, switch on the delta connection so here you take main contact y2 then the timer must be on so here t1 no and the start connection must be off so here y1 that is nc and you take the delta connection y1 here you set y1 now we see the program here very small program but it's important for you so firstly we will switch on here uh, by x0 that is motor start so the main contact will be on and uh, this is overload relay so you take the name here insert row x1 sorry x2 over load relay relay <coughs> yes so uh, the motor is start now if i press x0 here motor stop is nc overload relay is nc so main contact will be on and after the certain time that is uh, 10 seconds the star connection will go off and the delta connection will be on so uh, after starting the main motor uh, by this x0 the main contact and star connection will be on and after some time like 10 seconds or 15 seconds the main contact and delta connection will be on so now you will check this project uh, on the physical plc so let's go there before going to the main P plc we have to create the hmi project so that we can see the outputs here so here there are total three outputs uh, y0 y1 y2 so firstly i will take main contact y2 here you take y2 main contact y2 you take y2 and one light that is output y2 then we have star connection that is y0 so another output here y0 here y0 and then y1 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 it's y1 y1 is delta connection so here you take delta delta y zero star st 
star its main contact main contact main okay just to simulate or to view the out outputs here we will see the time here so you must move the time to a data register here we take normally one on switch m8000 and then move function to t1 to like d1 sorry okay now the time will go there at d1 so you take here one timer d1 okay we will, we will see the time here star delta hmn now we will go to the physical plc already we have downloaded uh, the program in our plc and here is the connection x0 is one input that is start and x1 that is uh, stop button now we will check the output here you see main contact y2 y0 star and y1 delta when we press the start button that is here the start button we check start main contact and star contact are on and after some time like 10 seconds the star will go off and delta will be on okay now if we want to uh, switch off all these uh, star um, delta and main contact just switch off off again you check start on okay and now off so that's all for today thank you so much for watching